Here, buddy. So one thing I do with all the puppies I get is I take them out here and we do like just real world everyday stuff out here. I got the log splitter running and I want him just out here just doing puppy stuff. I'm not even making him do anything. Just get him used to the loud noises, the sound of the splitter, the sound of the wood popping loose and, and all that stuff. And this little Frenchman is a badass. I'm not phasing him one bit. My big bad uh, Malinois runs over to the house when I fire it up. You don't care, do you? You're a bad little Frenchman. So, uh, kind of show you what I mean. I just let him run around. Do this with your puppies. You don't have to have a log splitter, but just, you know, go out, and go out in the front yard and fire up the lawnmower and just let it run while you're playing with the dog or something. Get him used to this stuff because it's, it's really helpful for him. And, uh, you know, he don't care at all. He's out here chewing on the logs that I split. So that's awesome. I love that. So uh, we'll run a little bit of video here. I'll split some logs and you can watch them run around. As you can see, he just stuck right by my feet, which I didn't really want him right there, but I'm careful and I pay attention to where he's at. Doesn't phase him a bit, and that's really awesome because most puppies do not like this stuff. They will run. I've been working with him a lot on just getting him, you know, getting him accustomed and getting him used to loud sounds and and things like that. Like this, probably this little French bulldog could probably be a bird dog because I don't even think he'd be gun shy. Would you? All right. Toodles.